Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Learning with Israr. Today the topic of our discussion is types of party logistics. Most of us who involved with logistics must have heard of the term third party logistics but actually there are several other types of party logistics exist in supply chain management. Today we will try to explain first party logistics to sixth party logistics and show how the systems integrate these into supply chain. The basic rule or principle to define and understand about these types of the logistics parties is, the more a company moves from 1 PL to 6 PL and beyond, the more of the company supply chain managed by outsourced companies and the higher the level of service integration. Now let's discuss and differentiate each of the types. Let's start with first party logistics. It refers to a company or individual that transports and delivers their own goods, using their own vehicles and no other company involved in any way for the movement of the goods. For example, a manufacturer makes some products and delivers the products on their own vehicles directly to shops for sale. Everything is done in-house. Next is second-party logistics. Probably this type we are all most familiar with, if not the term itself. A second-party logistics involves a company using a separate transport company, a subcontractor, outsider to move their goods. It is an asset. Based and owns the means of transport. This had been the first concept of an individual or company transports other companies' goods in their vehicles. Third-party logistics. It is most familiarized type of party logistics and most of us involved in supply chain management know about it. It offers first stage supply chain integration in the forms of transport and freight forwarding, warehousing including inventory management, cross-docking, packaging and labeling. So, a business can outsource all their transport, storage, packing and distribution of their goods using a single third-party logistics company. Most third-party logistics companies are flexible so that a business can select to use as many or as few of their services depending on the requirements. To know more about third-party logistics, you can listen another video of mine. Fourth-party logistics. The fourth-party logistics type is an independent or neutral lead logistics provider, effectively acting as an agent which liaises and coordinates with one or more. 3PL provider companies in order to provide and tailor the best service for the customer's requirements. Therefore 4PL include all the benefits of 3PL providers but also include project management, sourcing and negotiation, logistics strategy and analytics, impartial service advice, a single point of contact. 4PL could be defined as a supply chain integrator that assembles and manages the resources, capabilities, and technology of its own organization with those of complementary service providers to deliver a comprehensive supply chain solution. Fifth Party Logistics It is a fully integrated logistics provider to encompass the whole supply chain from beginning to end through multiple outsourced service providers. The integration is achieved through the application of IT to provide fully visibility throughout the supply chain in real time. It control the entire supply chain regardless of how many different service providers were involved. With the focus on technology the 5PL type is best suited to e-commerce, a by artificial intelligence AI, often defined as artificial intelligence driven supply chain management. In it AI system monitor the whole supply chain using trends, ordering patterns and forecasting models and proactively send instructions upstream. A buyer artificial intelligence AI, often defined as artificial intelligence driven supply chain management. In it AI system monitor the whole supply chain using trends, ordering patterns and forecasting models and proactively send instructions upstream, which automatically trigger goods production. Send instruction to deliver stock or highlight anomalies. With the advancement in self-drive vehicles, warehouse robots and delivery drones some of the components are already being used today but the implementation of a 6PL model is very complex and requires careful planning and management and requires a high level of trust and collaboration between the client and the provider as well as effective communication and coordination among all parties involved, plus requires significant investment in technology, infrastructure, and talent to ensure that the supply chain operates efficiently and effectively.
These were few of types of party logistics, I hope you have a better understanding of logistic types after watching this presentation. As technology and global business environment evolve rapidly the advanced types of party logistics are also emerging and we may go to 7th to 10th party logistics. In next video I will try to talk about those. Till then, goodbye and take care. Thanks.